Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our movie commentaries. Today we are watching The Scorpion King starring the one and only... Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Big now, fan of this guy. We love him. This is his first one, I think. This is the first movie he did from wrestling. Is it actually? I think it is. I don't, I don't well, know that. He appeared in The Mummy Returns as the Scorpion King and yes, then they did I... a movie around it, didn't oh, they? Oh, so this is a spin-off from that? I think it is, yes. Oh, yeah. Except he was a bad guy in Mummy Returns yeah, but, but he's, he's a, a good he guy in this. He's here. the hero. Yeah. So I'm not 100% on how that worked out. That means his first movie thing must have been The Mummy then. This is his own, like... This is the first one he starred in, I think we'll say. What, as in the main character? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because... We'll call it a cameo at best in The Mummy Returns. And then the whole thing was like CGI anyway, because he was like half Scorpion yeah, yeah, yeah. Creature. And that's the thing I remember, the CGI isn't that good. Of course that he was good. a Scorpion Creature, because he was a Scorpion King. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Although, are you thinking of the CGI from The Mummy Returns rather than from this movie? Possibly. I just remember the CGI of him in this isn't that great. It's really obvious when it's all fake. I, I mean, think he was only a CGI creature in The Mummy Returns. But he's not in the actual... Because I can't remember. I get, I get the two confused I think he's a, a normal person the whole way through Scorpion. Yeah, and at some point when he sacrifices himself, when he gets the scorpion and eats it. Or That's the mummy. mummy. That's the mummy. All right. So, I think I saw this once on a plane. I've seen it I once remember. as well, but I don't remember anything of it. Nothing. But that's the best way to do it. Yeah. So, we are looking at The Rock... Fresh-faced and young, although he's still fresh-faced now. He's, yeah, he hasn't really aged. It's because he's stolen the fountain of youth. Yes, but he's wonderful. He but is. I think this got bad reviews when it first came out. I think it was treated as a bit oh, of a joke. Oh yeah, this is a joke of a film. I'm not even gonna lie, yeah. but it it's was, an enjoyable joke of a it film. It was early two thousands, like yeah. two thousand one, two thousand two. It was a long time ago, and it was back when he was just a wrestler. Like we just yeah. knew him as a wrestler, and he didn't really destroy the box office in the way he does now. No. So yeah, we're going to have a great time. I'm not sure who else is in it, but we're who here cares? for the rock. We're, we're here, here for the rock. Wing. So, the way this works is we can't play the movie. We're just not allowed to do it. Copyright gets in the way. We've just not got a chance. So, what we need you to do is line up the movie on your phone, tablet, TV, laptop, whichever way. Uh, we're watching it on Netflix today. Yep, as we um, always do. Yep, there'll be tons of you with DVDs of it, maybe, or even VHS. It goes that far back, I think. So, oh dear, I can't yeah, you brought that up. That is bad, <laughs> isn't it? So, um, all you have to do is line it up, get ready to play it. We will count you down into it. Yep. And then you press play at the same time as us. You're watching the movie alongside us. We're providing our commentary. Uh, we provide a few jokes. We just make it more enjoyable. It's Add like, value. Yeah. It's like being sat down watching the movie with a group of friends. Yes. Because we are your friends, even though we've never met and you don't know what we <laughs> look like. But yeah, this will be great fun. Yep. I hope it's going to go to well. Uh, same thing we always say. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought of the movie. Uh, let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to do a movie commentary for as well. You know, We're always welcome to new ideas. Always open to suggestions. Yeah. And it stops us from having to think of something ourselves. True. Which is great. Yeah, saves us work. I absolutely love that. Anything that saves us a bit of work. So, uh, I think we should get right into yeah, let's it. Go. Yeah. So I'm gonna count us down. You should have it lined up, ready to go in three, two, and one, and play. There we go. So we've got the universal uh, Earth just lighting up lighting now. Lighting up with the world. That's such a classic sort of. They don't do that as much anymore. Uh, I don't see it as much anymore. Yeah, you're right though. I don't see that. Maybe maybe they're just not making that much movies anymore. I think Disney has everything nowadays. Mm. I mean, they don't have Universal, but I mean, they bought out Fox. Did they? Yeah, Fox now belongs to Disney. Mm. And then of course the Sony. Yeah, Sony movies does a lot of stuff as well. So we've yeah. got a snowy landscape, the, the mountains. Not exactly where I expected us to start. No, I thought it'd be the desert. He looks angry, and he's got one eye. He's very angry. Look at him. Oh. Okay, he's dead now. Yeah, he's that was quick. dead. That's quite a nice little hut there he's got. So, is, is this, this a... hut about to be ambushed? Are these Vikings? They're pillagers and raiders. Those women do not look like they're having a great time. They killed Babylonians? Yeah. Oh. Well, they seem very friendly. They're Vikings, I think. I think they're just raiders. She seems to be. Oh, yeah, they the... could be Vikings because it is a snowy landscape. Hmm. 
Oh, oh so an Arcadian. Who are they? I see them race from back in the day. Not obviously, but which so I'm a... guessing modern day what? Vikings are modern day uh, old school Scandinavians. Yeah. So what? Acadians are what? Uh, sort of like Middle Easty desert, I think. Oh, does that mean the rocks can come along and save everyone? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he knows how to. Oof. How did he fire like six arrows at once? He's got like an arrow machine gun. It's not just that. They're arrows that catapult the people who get hit backwards. Oh, look at Rock. Look at him. He's got a physique. See the barbs on his wires? I love it. Uh, arrows. How can he fire an arrow that shoots them out of the hut like that? Uh, they're looking very impressed. <laughs> I love that, the whispered boo. That was a very Casper the Ghost boo there. Casper the Ghost? The friendly ghost, yeah. He does I've, the same thing, where he gets caught, he? and they all see him, and he goes, boo, and they all run away. I've never never seen Casper, actually. Oh, I'm missing out. Oh, I'm sure I'll get through life without it, somehow. What's the reckon in 60% of this movie is going to be The Rock doing stunts like this? Uh, most of it is going to be like that. But that's what we're here for. Mm. I, how many times can this guy miss throwing his <laughs> knives? <laughs> he should really just give up at this point. Yeah. Oh, that was the one time he was going to hit, but thankfully The Rock was able to... Save the day? Yep. I don't remember this scene at all. I don't remember the movie really at all. But you're but... right, the CGI thing was from The Mummy, though, remember? Yeah. He's very... You can oh. see the wrestler in him, with all the stage yeah. punches and... This is really early on, though, where he's just making the transition from wrestler to... Yeah. Movie hero. And I'm more used to seeing Rock... Um, bald yeah that's true actually the long hair is weird and I think it is sort of obvious it's a bit of a wig yeah but it does look strange seeing him with yeah. it do you reckon that guy's meant to be his dad no oh you're lucky we have the same mother so oh, it's his, his brother. brother there we go so the scorpion king I do think it's strange that he's like a hero in this though oh so this is where we're going to get our explanation. The Egyptian, right? It looks like it. That makes sense, because he was ended up in the mummy. Yeah. Well, that's where he started. Alright, so this guy's the greatest warrior. Oh, I... I, I yeah, something's... Memnarch. Sta that's a very Egyptian to... name. I'm starting to remember a few things. There's a scene where he uh, goes into a room and it's full of concubines. Oh, lovely. I look forward to that. I, as do I. <laughs> Although this will be like a PG movie, won't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't show anything specific, specific, but the concubines are quite good looking as well. Oh, lovely. Again, you've given me something to look forward to. I always do. <laughs> so the sorcerer can predict the outcome of every battle yeah oh the sorcerer's quite a good looking young lady as well oh sure so they all surrendered to him and then he just slaughtered them uh I think so he's a bit of a party pooper yes that's what happens when you become a dictator yeah see when I'm a dictator I will also be merciless <laughs> these guys are all arguing alright he was British, I think, but I don't recognise him. Name? I don't know. I don't recognise him. I sort of do, but I don't think he's the, right, the guy I'm thinking of. So these are all the different, like... Tribes. Yeah, yeah, tribes and leaders and all of that. And I think they want to take, take down what's-his-face. Yes. But the sorcerer can just predict the outcome. So what if the sorcerer just says, oh, actually, you lose this one? I don't know. I recognise him. Yeah, he played in this weird series where they would go through a portal to different worlds. Stargate? Yeah, and he had this thing on his forehead, like a, a symbol. I've never seen Stargate. See, he's like a British Eric Banner, this guy. That's who I was thinking of. But obviously he's Australian. Yeah, I say he looks a bit like him, but I knew he wasn't him. 
Yeah. He does look a bit weedy to be acting the big man. Yeah. Oh, what's about and that's the rock? Uh I'll take that bet. There it's we the go. Rock. Woo! The rock's gonna be one of those like too cool for everyone else in the movie sort of characters, isn't it? See, he's the last Arcadian, I think they're saying. Oh, he's an assassin. Lovely. I still trying to work out who the hell the Arcadians are. <laughs> that boy's just there to get abused by everyone, isn't it? Yes, let, let's consult each other first. They're not even like consult, they're all just like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> What, so if he guarantees his victory? Literally, yeah, cool. The Rock turned up, said nothing, and they all agreed with him. <laughs> He's got that reputation. Oh, there we go. Oh, is the sorcerer going to be the woman he falls in love with? Yes, I do believe that's what happens. He catches it. Wow, he's so cool. What is it? He said him will kill for free. Ah. Those rubies just look like very cheap stones. Yeah. They're like, um, remember you used to get those gemstones for your Pokemon yeah. cards? <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a movie about The Rock's uh, mission to fulfill his Pokemon trading card collection. Ah, got to catch them all. Yes. Why is he on a camel and these are the horses? <laughs> he just needs to stand out in every way possible. <laughs> He's peacocking way too much. Yeah. A camel wouldn't be as fast as a horse, would it? No, but in the desert, they are able to get across it easier because their hooves spread out oh, right. you know, in the sand. And they can store the water in their hump yes, as well, they, I guess. Yes, it will last longer too. That is a true point. So is the rock just going to storm in now? Just I, Essentially, from what I remember, that. he basically just kicks doors down and just flies in. Yeah, so he's just like a superhero, really. Uh, yes, an Egyptian one. Well, an Arca Arcadian one. Yeah. No, I remember some movie or something where they talked about like the dawn of Arcadia, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, no, I can't remember anything about that. I recognise the name, I just don't know where that was. His, br yeah, his brother is so dying. Like You can tell. Like It's the Rocks movie. He needs to be on his own. He's going to be the comedy sidekick. Horse thief. Well, sometimes the punishment fits the crime. <laughs> what? Getting hung upside down <laughs> <Yeah>. and burnt? <laughs> well, he tried to steal a horse. Horses are so expensive as well, even nowadays. Well, you've got to feed it, train it, mm. look after oh, it. He's going to zip wire himself across, isn't he? Oh, what a legend. The camel doesn't understand him. No. But we like to pretend it does. This is a cheesy movie. To it's be like honest, the this definition. Looks like a lot of fun. This is a full on mozzarella gorgonzola movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dropped him in the middle of camp. Nice. What was the point in zip wire entrance? I don't he could have run in. He could have just run in, yeah. Yeah, definite comedy sidekick. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised his hair's not on fire. He's such an irritant. There's something about the early 2000s movies where the com comedic relief was just a pain in the backside. They had quite a few of them in the movies. They had one in The Mummy mm. as well. Oh, yeah, but he was also a bad guy, really, wasn't he? Uh, in the second one, he was more of a bad guy. In the first one, he was just a bit of a loser. Did he make this? I thought he died in the first one. No, he dies in the second one. In the sure. first one? Oh my god, why can't I remember anything? Like, you're right, he dies in the first one, because it goes back to get more gold. And yeah, he and he gets crushed. Oh, funny guy. Or he gets stuck in the room and it fills with sand. Something like that. I just remember Brendan Fraser no, was pretty no, cool. No, 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 um, no. He gets stuck in the thing and then those little bugs oh, come and eat him. There's his mates dying. Told you his brother was so dead. Yeah. Oh, 
what you're going to do. There we go. Nice dramatic death for him. What is this camp he's raided, by the way? He's there to kill the sorceress, isn't he? Yeah, but the, what, they're going to leave the sorcerer in some sort of tent? Yeah, I think so. The sorcerer's back at the uh, castle, I'm sure. Uh, who knows? Well, that looks like a mystic tent to me. Hmm. Hopefully someone's naked in there. <laughs> Hopefully it's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is that a two headed sorcerer? I'm not sure. I feel like this camp wasn't heavily guarded considering there's something very important in there. No. I turn around oh look it's a lady. Told you be a sexy naked lady. His name's Matthias. Has he fallen hopelessly in love? I think so. He's in the tent. <laughs> he is in the tent. That axe I don't just think... looks like a non-practical weapon. Um, I think that's not the real sorcerer. I think she is. No, I don't think she is. But she's there against her will or something like that. This whole thing was a trap, obviously, but I don't think she's the real sorcerer. No. Mm, I have oh. my suspicions. Oh, what would you be without your suspicions? Mm. Yeah, you've just seen him take down like 15 men. And you just run He's to disarmed him. you and you think, you know what, I'll kick him. <laughs> That'll work out. <laughs> oh, nine. <clears throat> there we go. That was easy. So, bad guys captured him, executes him, move you over. Done. Mm. There we go, that was short. Maybe it is, maybe it is the real sorcerer. Oh, what a threat. Oh, he's spats on him. That's just uncalled for, really. It's very disrespectful. Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no one slaps the rock. <laughs> he goes, don't you know who I am? Oh, this little weedy guy. Yeah. There's always the weedy guy. Oh, so he's beheaded him. Lovely. He beheaded his own dad? Yeah. So I think he's done a deal where he gets to keep his tribe. I think he dies anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, his brother's still alive. No, he's going to get killed. 100%. Oh, yeah. We knew he was dead. Kills him with his own dagger. Um, it looks like a bottle opener at that end of the. Uh, it does. <laughs> He's like, one's for hostility, the other's for party. <laughs> the Rock is pulling some ridiculous. Yeah, faces. the faces are very amateurish. He's still doing his wrestling acting at yeah. this point. Live free. Yes, it means. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. At least they got a chance to exchange some last words. Yeah. He gave him a good opportunity. I wonder what that woman's name is. Um, sexy lady. Oh, there we go. Is she... Is she making it up? I think she is. Yeah. Oh, so he's like, you've clearly got a lady boner for him. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that is about... Oh, so he leaves him to the scorpions, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then how does he become a scorp scorpion king? Because if he follows him from the mummy, it's because he was left in the desert and he... Yeah, he was already king at that point, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, maybe that's later. And he was the greatest warrior who led the thing there. So he must get that by defeating this bloke. Is that term like that? 
Oh, so they're oh, going to get fire ants to attack him. Oh, fire ants. They're very CGI. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it was bad. <laughs> I like this guy. I'm glad one of us does. <laughs> <laughs> How did he manage that? Oh, he's gone down. Yeah. How did he manage that? Do you reckon you'll leave the rock to die? I don't know. Oh, oh that's uh, not a fun way to go. Ah. Uh, also horrifically CGI'd. <laughs> I think the effects are going to be bad in this. I think it wasn't a big budget, though, was it? No, but the CGI is pretty cheap. And we also have to remember it's like 17 years ago. Yeah, but still, there's better CGI out there 17 years ago than this. Yeah, that's true. He's still surprisingly calm. <laughs> oh, there we go. He just wants to get rich. Of course. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Well, He's done a this decent before. He's a bit of a fire breather. He should have started this earlier. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? He <laughs> killed it with his chin. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh he ate oh, it. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> they just jump cut it past having to dig him yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, while the ants are still coming at them. <laughs> Not a problem. Such a coward. The they always have the comedy coward sidekick, yeah. don't they? He's going to try and get on. That isn't happening. <laughs> so the bad guy's in full bad guy mode. Lovely. I love a pantomime villain. The oracle is looking sultry. Mmm. Uh, she's doing a prophecy. Oh, a light came out of her forehead. That's odd. Mm. What are they? What are they? No. Oh. Well, there we go. All she just has to keep saying to him is, you win, you win, you win. That's all she's got to do. This is very similar to that James Bond movie where that guy, bad guy, also has an oracle. James Bond saying. Oh, live and let die. Yeah. That was the, um, was it Caribbean? Yes, yes. And it was Jane Seymour. She was one of the really good looking Bond girls. I always thought Pussy Galore was really good looking. Really? Yeah. I know she's iconic because of Goldfinger. Yeah, but no, but she's quite good looking though. I, I never thought she was... I like Britt Eklund from The Man With The Golden Gun. She's the blonde-haired Swedish one. Oh, yes. I think she married Rod Stewart at one point. Nice. But just about every blonde back then did. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day when every single villain was British. They still are, aren't they? Wasn't it? To an extent, yeah. Some, some of them are Russian. Yeah. Oh, so he wants her for himself. Oh, hello. She doesn't look thrilled. Ah. Oh. Uh. 
So he's like, once I've conquered the world, I'll conquer yeah, you. Basically. But the world is a pretty big place. Yeah. You'll be there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Or at least the known world to them back then. Oh, see, that's a classic Sodom and Gomorrah joke. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> You're really enjoying him, aren't you? <laughs> I think he's a funny character. <laughs> to be honest, his acting is better than, than The Rock's right now. Yeah, but he's a professional actor at this point. Where's The Rock's old-fashioned wrestler? So has he literally gone right back to the city? He was... Um, possibly. I mean, I know he invaded a camp before. <laughs> You're enjoying him far too much. It's worrying me. <laughs> oh. Poor guy. He gave me a little cuddle. He's going to treat him horribly the whole time. <laughs> Very mean. Poor horse thief. He's got himself a real reputation, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you punching me in the face. Oh. Hello. <laughs> He's very happy. She's got she way does, too much makeup yeah, for that's that time. <laughs> she does not blend in with the time. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, is that his bag of rubies? I don't know. Maybe. That wig is not great. No. And his hairline's so far back as well. Yeah, I, d I don't know if... I don't know if like some of it is real and some of it is not. See, is that a brothel? Possibly. There's more of those to come. Excellent. That's the only thing <laughs> I remember about this film is the woman. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> But you can tell all the actresses in this have just been hired for their looks. Yeah, they've basically been chucked like 50 quid and a orange juice. And we're like, just stand there. For 50 quid and an orange <laughs> juice. One of them's there like negotiating, <laughs> desperately holding out for pineapple juice. <laughs> yeah, now that you mentioned his um, hairline, I can't not you can't see stop it. Staring. And the weird part is the sun reflects. Yeah, it literally shines off it. And it makes like the McDonald's M. <gasps> really? You let a bunch of kids get the better of you? Yeah. Although this will be the bit where he suddenly... I remember this because he crawls through all the spaces and then ends up in the concubine thing by accident. Oh, is that? I thought I that would so. be like running away from like soldiers and stuff. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe... I don't know. Let's watch it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just watch <laughs> the movie. <laughs> That's kind of the point of this. <laughs> Oh, so here's Crawl Spaces. So you're right about Crawl Spaces. Yeah, I've got that bit right. How many times have you seen this? Um, Only the once, I think. It's just that... How long ago? Oh, I don't know, 10 years. Oh. oh a pretty sharp memory there. It, like I said, it's the, the women is what jogs my memory. As if the kid's going to shout out anyway. No, it's about working out which one's hollow and which one's got something in it. Yeah. It sounds different. Okay. He could have just opened all the lids. There's one in his mouth. You, mm, you probably watched this last week or something. No, I haven't. Oh, there you go. There's the one in his mouth. It's just obvious. It doesn't look like real. It just looks like a sweet. It does. Again, it's for his Pokemon trading card collection. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what a kid. Oh, the side. Okay, I remember this bit now as well. You're remembering everything now. I recognise him. That's gunpowder. Yeah. I think that is Sir Davos in Game of Thrones. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so I wouldn't know. Uh, Liam Cunningham? You're not helping. But I think that's his name. Oh, right. I think that is. I think that's Sir Davos. Wow. He must be much older now. Yeah, but he doesn't look it. Obviously, they made him look old here. Yeah. It's hard to say how old he actually is. I'd say he's mid-50s now. He looks mid-50s here. Yeah, it's surprising how old he looks in this. If anything, he looks less old in Game of Thrones. This is the one scene I remember where he catches the arrow. Oh, yes. That's the one thing I remember from this movie, is him catching an arrow. That's like his party trick. He, he does, only does to... it when he's had like five drinks. He does He does it towards the end as well, I think. Yeah. They're basically just punch bags for him. Yeah, they're basically just showing how good he is in combat so that he can give the rock a challenge later on. Oh, but yes. they, a round of applause for him like well done he did say at the leader. beginning that he was the greatest warrior that's why he became king yeah what's the bet and the kid sells him out now that he's got his ruby um possibly but I uh, know actually I think the kid becomes his like little helper around the city oh really I think so see this is the bit I remember see funnily enough I did not remember this bit at all until you mentioned it it's the one thing I remember was the catch and the arrows because it's ridiculous Obviously, they're both going to shoot arrows. And he's like, what's going on here? That's very well done. Oh, poor kid. Oh, do you reckon they're going to try and punish him? Right. Oh, he's got a ruby. Are they going to cut his hand off? Possibly. So, oh, no, now he saves the kid, which reveals his position. Surely he could kill the guy and then save the kid. Well, yeah, because once he's a kid, they'll forget about the kid, won't they? Yeah. Oh. Of course it's him. And he's a clear shot anyway. Oh, uh, that'll be why he does it then. But he had a chance earlier to yeah, get him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The movie would be over, though, if he did that. Yeah. Book. Oh, he didn't even kill the guy swinging oh, the axe. shocking. Oh, he missed his opportunity. Oh, the guards are out. Those arrows were very CGI, weren't they? Yeah, the CGI in this film is so cheap. But the practical effects are okay. Yeah, because the rest of it is fairly straightforward. It's just a bunch of actors running around. (laughs) (laughs) So he's meant to be like the Galileo or Da Vinci of his No, he's time. like an inventor, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's what they were. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh he's going to fire yeah. himself out the catapult. I think this is where he ends up in the concubine room, I think. Oh, lovely. This is the bit I'm looking forward to the most, really. So this is going to be the movie... He shouldn't survive that. Oh, This yes. is going to be the movie at its peak. Concubine room. Lovely. This is the greatest bit of this movie. Why would you pull out a sword? I'll pull out another sword. (laughs) (laughs) He's done the classic rock raising the eyebrow thing. Mm. (laughs) Well, that's nice. What a rude man. Is that a lovely casual threat? They're taking taking all 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 his weapons. (laughs) 
Yeah, as if they're going to overpower him. Oh, he just got robbed by a bunch of women. You, th they th you thought he was... He thought they were being nice, but no. They tricked him. They tricked him with their boobies. He should never have fallen for it in the first place. I know, right? The thing was, he wasn't even like accepting the advances. He was trying to be polite. Like, no, thank yeah. you, thank you. Shocking. And you yeah, think wait, he would notice. No, he got tricked by the kids and the women. Yeah, it's he's not very good at <laughs> He's an absolute fool who can, you know, take he's down... He's like this great warrior, people. but as soon as, like, a child or woman turns up... Oh, no, I'm just going to oh, get robbed. Oh, he's going to run along behind This was in Genius 1-2. Yeah. No, 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 no. Indiana it was Indiana Jones. Jones. Oh. Indiana Jones. So this film is Surely such a rip Surely they realise it's not working after a while. Oh, no. These is he not going to get his weapons back? Well, no, the woman took it. Come on, man. How did that not hit someone? <laughs> yeah, that's a point. You're going to have to drop. Adios. What? <laughs> They're just going to fall to their deaths, aren't they? Oof. Oh, I think they died. Again, that Run should away. kill him. Run away. Oh, this is where the... Uh, the sorceress? The sorceress, yeah. The sorcerer is basically just a glorified concubine, right? Well, yeah. Who comes out covering their breasts like that? Yeah, it's lucky how the hair fell. Yes. I'm going to stare at you. He goes, why don't we do both? Her makeup managed to stay on in the water. Of course. Standard. It did well to have waterproof Wait, makeup what? back then. Yeah. The plugs to that bath is human sized. Yeah. <laughs> Drained quickly. Absolute nonsense. She hit, still has no clothes on. Well, why would she? Oh. Uh, he's oh. doing a wish in the wishing well. And then a bit beautiful woman comes out. I thought she favoured him. Yeah. Not to that extent, just, you know. Ah. So he just threatened her life. That's nice. How cute. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. As an old joke. Has he paid? <laughs> I don't think he's the type of gentleman who pays. I don't think he's a gentleman. <laughs> why, why is he the traitor? What did he do? Yeah. Poor man. Oh, they must have worked out that he catapulted from yeah, his... Yeah, but not out of choice. He just went in and did it. Mm. Oh, well. Well, I think he might be dead. Mm. No, he'll show up later, won't he? Smelly cow. He's just dead. God, the guy's a full-on traitor. <laughs> <laughs> God, he changes on a dime, doesn't he? <laughs> He's like me. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, the whole thing's, like, been one step away from death. Also, as an assassin, his plan is a bit wishy-washy. Yeah, he's washy. very gung-ho for this master assassin blood. Yeah. He's not sneaky. He doesn't really have a plan, per se. No, he just bumbles around me <laughs> in the rock. <laughs> and now they're off to the Valley of the Dead. Ah, the scorpion. So here's the scorpions... Something must happen with the scorpions. Yeah, for him to make the scorpion king. king. Do you reckon a dozen will do it? 
A dozen more. A dozen men? No, I think more will. This guy is taking him way too comfortable in this palace. Yeah. The thing is, he's going to clearly die by yeah. the end. I hope he has a uh, nasty death as well. Yeah, a cheap death. He deserves it. Ah, uh, the tipnet with like scorpion poison on the arrows. Here's a question. And what? I know the answer to it, so it's, I'm just dropping knowledge. What's the difference between poison and venom? Uh, is a venom through fangs? Uh, you're on the right lines. Oh, go on, just tell me them. Alright, so poison, you die if you ingest it. But venom has to be injected into your bloodstream. Right, okay. So if you drink venom, it won't make any difference. You won't die. It's only when it's in the bloodstream. Yeah. And it doesn't absorb through your digestive system into the bloodstream. Apparently not, no. Oh, okay. But poison, that, that if you ingest it, you'll, yeah. you'll die. Yeah, very nice. So if a snake tried to poison you, it would hold no power. Yeah, essentially, if he's just squirting into your mouth. <laughs> uh, make Which is the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be thinking about those concubines too much. <sighs> She's making but run for it. they were traitorous. What? What? Oh, uh, she trapped in a snare. Ah, tied to his leg. <laughs> I what, thought she I... favoured him. This is so weird. Like, she full-on defended him early on, and now she just wants to get away from him and fight him. She needs to make up her mind. This is uh, getting a little bit sexy. So she wants to make it on her own. She's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Or well, more specifically, doesn't need a dictator in, his li in her life. Yeah, dictator or assassin. Just, they seem to change opinions and emotions like on a dime. Yeah. They're quite open to change. Also, her hair is far too clean and lush for the time yeah. period. <laughs> Although she had just had a bath. Yeah, but still, come on. In that humidity? In that heat? Oh, I don't know much about hair. You don't have any, that's why. I have some. I'm not exactly bald, am I? I've got a full head of luscious hair. Playing it fast and loose with the word luscious there. Oh, stop it, yeah. Oh, so now... I like how this guy yeah. is just sort of... Um... She's meant to be the... Um... What? He's using a crystal telescope which zooms in <laughs> as he turns it. No, come on. But she's meant to be the sorceress who can predict stuff and now the rock's predicting the storm. I'm already sure. I'm not sure what sort of sorcerer she is. She could be faking it all these years. Yeah, possibly. Also, I think they need some sun cream mist. Very. Although they have that natural tan. Yeah. Wow, is nice just... Zora mask. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> that was so pointless. Is... <laughs> he does not need that. He's like, oh, I'm going to dress myself up as a highway bandit. Oh, he's taking them into the storm, I think, is to protect his eyes. Oh, so there was a point to it. See, so he knows there's a storm incoming. A thousand iguanas? Iguanas? Well, that must be the currency. Or it's a specific Pokemon trading card. <laughs> he just wants a better collection than the rocks. Didn't they all have arrows anyway? Surely they could just sit there and shoot him. Yeah, it's very convenient when, when, as and when they use the uh, arrows. Yeah. Is there going to be like a sandstorm all of a sudden? I think that's what's coming now. Although, the sandstorm would have to very suddenly appear, wouldn't it? Oh, there, there it is. The sandstorms move that fast? Um, I don't think that fast, no. Bad CGI sandstorm as well. I did say this at the beginning of the film, the bad CGI is notorious. In this film. So does The Rock have superpowers where he can see through sand because he's wearing a mask? Um, I'm not sure. What the? What the hell? 
I'm not sure, but he's clearly seen something. Well, the camel's there. I, he spotted a cave where the sorceress and the other bloke will be hiding. They were in the middle. They were in the middle of the battlefield. He left the other two the other other side. Yeah. So why would they still be here? I don't know. Or maybe he's going to ambush them in the cave now. We we find way too many plot holes in films. <laughs> it just seems bizarre. No, they're, they're, those two aren't in here. It's just the. Um, oh, he made him run into quicksand. That, that very quicksand. Uh, they just need to get rid of the disposable. See, normally it's a red shirt. It's a Star Trek reference. These are a red scarf. <laughs> he literally Why just the... walked I know. into the... Step around it. You just saw someone else do it. Oh, well done. Thanks for that. Sensible. After the first two die. <laughs> yeah. So a couple will fall off. Obviously. What? A waterfall of sand? Looks like it. A sandfall. Where's this even coming from? Uh, the storm outside, I think, so it's all falling through a gap in the roof. That's actually fairly well thought out, that. Huh. Let me just widely yeah. slash at this sandfall. Stab the sand. Oh my god. What was that? Hey, he's getting a bit nervous now. Squeaky bum time for him. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be careful. Oh, oh no. Strangled. No. Why do they keep going? They're noticing people are going missing, but they're not checking. Yeah, they're not the back. tuning back at any point. <laughs> he must be down to like three now. Yeah. Three, including himself? I think so. So the other two will get taken out pretty quickly. No, three. Three and then him. Alright, so four in total. <sighs> amateur. Yeah. What that an was amateur. Silly. I mean, surely The Rock can take on all three of them at this point. You would have thought so. Ouch, there goes two. So now it's just that guy yeah, on his own. should be. Oh my god. Well, he, he left <laughs> Yeah, just him. run away. Because he needs one to take the message back home? Is he really going to shout coward after he <laughs> ran away? Like, retreat, coward. Oh, really? You could have stabbed him at any point in yeah. the cave. Bit of a slow-mo fight. That was weird. Yeah, this sand CGI is not getting any better. Oh, there we go. Go on. Finally. I still don't think that mask will protect no, his eyes No, that, that mask much. is doing nothing for his eyes. Oh. So now the scorpion poison is going to go into him. So I'm guessing this is where the Scorpion King origin comes from. Possibly. But I think the sorcerer saves him. Oh, okay. Well, a blanket saved them. And not a, a grain of sand in her hair. No. But in his eyebrows. Yeah, in his eyebrows. That's interesting. She's basically naked. Yeah, she is wearing nets to nothing. That's clear what she's been hired to do. I am the Scorpion King. Although he's got the venom in him now. Oh, do you reckon that's going to give him some like arbitrary countdown to his death? Where he needs uh, to do everything in that time? Maybe. And then he gets cured right at the end. Well, the sand has made his forehead a bit less shiny. At least that's somewhat uh, believable. <laughs> You're invincible. Uh, You've just, been poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tough times for the rock. Yeah, I think this is the bit where um, the sorcerer heals him. Yeah. 
You remember a lot more of this movie than I expected. Yeah, I don't know. It's all coming flooding back. Like every every next scene I see, it then... a chance to get the rocks pecs out. I'm more interested in her leg, to be honest. No. Oh, which would conveniently make him the Scorpion King. <laughs> Everything's so convenient here. Yeah. Yeah, this movie's not called like the Ladybug King. No. What is she doing? Ah, oh, doing her sorceriness. Yeah, she's summoning something. Oh. What? Taking is she the stealing out? his life force? No, no, he's getting she's getting rid of the poison, I think. Or the venom. Well, that's bizarre. She's basically naked. She is. She's uh, not wh wearing much. Why is she even wearing Saying that? that? He's not wearing much either. No. I just feel that there's a lot of nakedness going on there. There's a lot of bodies on display. <laughs> oh, what thing to wake up to. Oh, she's not even got a wound anymore. She That's still strange. looks fresh. She's been in the desert for two days now. So is she oh. dying now? Or? Uh, no, she might just be a little ill. Ah. Ah, so basically you need Deep to take thoughts. the Emperor. Which is what you would have done anyway. That's a weird necklace to go. It's basically just a chain. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a slaver's chain, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So is he sending the Message Falcon back with possibly, a threat? Possibly. Or pretending that he's dead. Oh, yeah. They think he's got him. So they're going to relax. Oh, no. No, oh, it's a threat. Yeah. Yes, I think there is something wrong. Mm. Mm. See, he's going to carry on with the war. Yeah. So he's pretending he's got good omens. Yeah. Ah, they've noticed. That's right. Yeah, the men are already worried, aren't they? Mm. They're like, if the sorcerers are here, how are we going to win this war? But literally, she she can just phone it in, like, eh, you're going to win. Eh, you're going to win. Oh, wait. Why is he telling him, this little sneaky guy, rat everything? Oh, I think he's hoping he will sneak around and get the... So I would, I, if problem. I was that guy, I would not trust this little... Oh, that's the sorcerer. No, it's... What? Oh, no, it's this guy. It's the... Oh, yeah, not sorcerer. Scientist. Inventor. Yeah. Mad guy. She looks way too well put together in this desert. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow they've got a pair of hair straighteners. So it's gunpowder. It's gunpowder, yeah. She's quite good looking, though. Oh, yeah, she is. So is the rock. Yeah, you, you <laughs> focus on the rock. I'll take the sorcerer. Yeah, fine by me. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's sanitary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coming up with nonsense ways for making it, making it pure and clean. What the hell are, they? are those crossbows? Made out of bamboo. <laughs> and not for much longer, Matt. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so 
See, I'm he's getting captured and then released. Captured yeah, the and whole released. movie is him getting captured. I am questioning his skills as an assassin. So am I. <laughs> I feel like a lot of it's just out of luck at this point. Mm. And those straps that are tied around his arms are far too tight for those huge biceps of his. I think that's kind of the point. Oh, it's that kid again. Ah, oh, the kid's going to vouch for him. He's like, oops, you're in trouble. And he's going to be like, this guy saved my life. I bet he says nothing. No, no, I think he comes forward. Oh, it's this oh, guy! Him. Is that Michael Clark Duncan? The one from Green Mile? Oh, he died, didn't he? He did, yes. He might be him. I think it is oh, him. Oh, you know, I'm quickly going to Google it. <laughs> yeah, it is him. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah, passed away a few years ago. 2012. Oh, I thought it was more recent than that. Yeah, time goes pretty quick. Uh, and we get older and older by the year. Well, you get older. I'm getting younger. <laughs> if you think so. She's like, oh, he's defending my honour. She's like, oh my god, I love him. Rah! I think we know who's going to win this duel. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's the bet they become allies, though? Uh, 100%. They're going to become friends. What? That's ridiculous. We are of equal strength. Except The Rock's more skilled. Oh, this is his wrestling. Hun yeah. He's really giving it here. See, some of that is quite cheesy. Yeah, I mean, if he got his head smashed into a pole, yeah. he'd have a bruise at least. It's his wrestling background coming out. That's what it is. <laughs> it even looks like a wrestling match. <laughs> yeah. I reckon they're doing it as a bit of a joke. Yeah. Although he's not throwing the... um ridiculous punches that The Rock used to throw as a wrestler. Do you ever see them? Uh, no. Where he does know. these I... weird overhand swings that yeah. just don't look like real punches. Oh, see, that's cheating. He used a bucket. See? Oh. It's not fair. Look at that kid's on it. Damn. Look at him roll away. Ah. <laughs> Some of the action scenes in this are silly. <laughs> Look at the chicken. That one guy was just in the way of the camera there. You think the director would have worked around that? Or at least shot the scene again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's going to win. Yeah. And then they're going to hug and be like... And now you'll the, submit. We're on the same side. Ah, oh, here we go. Why is he giving up? He hadn't given up yet. No, he's giving his rousing speech now to yeah. unite everybody. He's the Scorpion King. Yes. Yeah. He's like, yes, I will. Oh, and what she's a like, hero. Yes, that's the man I always knew you were. Yeah. I wouldn't mind losing my sorcery gifts for him. <laughs> him and his shiny forehead. <laughs> and fake hair. Yeah, and horribly fake wig. <laughs> that hairline. He gets beaten. Yeah. Oh. That was so happening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, she's making friends with the children. They're now. poisoned. Oh, she's seen the fate. Oh, lovely. Sees an arrow in it. Oh, so she sees them coming. Yeah. Maybe she should warn them to change the fate. Yeah. Uh, flaming arrows from up above. Oh no, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, they're all designed to die. But fate's not certain, is it? No. That's what I'm saying. I think she warns them, doesn't she? She must do. Yeah. Oh, and back into the arms of him. She scared the poor kid. Yeah. She's got to warn them. Yeah. He's literally having the time of, their life, uh, of his life. Oh, yeah, day. he's having a great time. <laughs> She's so naked. Well, she's got her own special tent already. Oh no, he does. Of course he does. But surely they can all just get out now. Well, yeah. The fate will change if you. Yeah, if they just run away. Actions. So this uh, is the shadow. Okay. That's her way of like getting around it by saying, oh, it could change. He's too certain of himself. Well, so is she. She's going to find out now. Piano. Well, there we go. Arrow in the back. Good way to go. Imagine it was Arrow in the Achilles heel. Achilles yeah. heel. See, I bet that happens. Like, the vision happens, but he gets up from the arrow and beats him. Or changes it. What, to die? To get an arrow in the back. Hmm. Ah. Wow, what a man. What a hero. Oh, nice romantic scene. Lovely, lovely. Has he got pointy ears? No, it's because of the way the hair goes around the ear. It makes it look pointy. Oh, okay. Oh, she's going to lose all her vision now. Oh, yeah, she will. It was all worth it, though. Yeah, definitely. No, she definitely is naked. Hmm. She's going to get up and go. I don't think so. What a heartless cat. Uh, maybe. No, she's going to ride off to save the villagers, I think. Yeah, I think she's so. So naked! Always naked! Well, she's not naked. Naked. No. The camel doesn't understand English. Come on. <laughs> That's the stupidest part of this movie. I haven't seen this lady in any other films. No, I don't know who she is. No, all I know is that I love her. Okay. <laughs> you moved on from some of your other ones. I only had one other, that was Gemma Arterton. And she's still number one. But she's not here right now, so I've got to... Uh, so you got to love someone else. Make do with others, yes. Oh, he's had a good night. So has she. And she! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What a man. <laughs> I bet they all follow him as an army and take on the city. Oh, they're... They're brothers now. Yeah. That, you're right, though. They do change their minds very quickly about things. <laughs> yeah. Things they're so passionate about as and well. And then suddenly, like, oh, yeah, you're right. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, Here come the belly dancers. I think they're more than just belly dancers. 
Do you reckon? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, oh, they're doing the thriller dance. This is very modern dancing. For and me. Michael Jackson fans. <laughs> <laughs> they clearly didn't know about them. No. Well, maybe Michael Jackson got his inspiration from these guys. Maybe. He's so sure of himself. Yeah. Well, he had the source. Oh, open, they right? don't. They don't believe in him, though. No, they're like this guy has had his time. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have the he's, strength he's to pull the string such back. A weakling, a weed man. No, oh, distressing. And surely they know they have the strongest army anyway. He's still the strongest fighter. I wouldn't talk back to him like that. Ah. Here she is. There we go. Well, they got their symbol. Yeah. Everyone's like, ooh. Well, there we go. Yes. Oh, here we go. This is the big fight scene. Can't be, can it? It's too I soon. I think we're getting towards the end. I think we've actually been watching this longer than we realised. Oh, wow. It's a sign of a good movie. Yeah, though. well, you don't really realise the time's well, gone by. I don't know about good movie. It's a sign <laughs> of a, a Enjoy watchable it. movie. Yeah, an enjoyable movie. Naughty boy. Oh, you can see the rock hiding behind in the background there. <laughs> Why isn't he shouted anything, seeing a hook like that? Huh. <laughs> that was a very pretty face, though. Oh, the little boy's getting involved. Who would take a child into battle like that? Uh, these guys would. Also, that child is quite, uh, what's the word, resourceful. Yeah. No, the child, child knows how to protect himself. Oh, wrestling move. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Spot all the wrestling moves. It's almost like the people who wrote this are wrestling fans. <laughs> I think they probably were, since they cast The Rock. <laughs> or they were just like, oh, just use some wrestling moves. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, they're like, oh, choreograph it yourself. Oh, the camel that somehow speaks English. This is basically like Zorro and his horse, except it's a camel. I've never seen any form of Zorro. Oh, let me tell. Time after time after oh, time. Oh, I think he's going to accuse her of stuff. I'll smack her face later. Do you reckon he he'll kill him for insubordination? Possibly. Yep. There we go. The last time anyone questions him about the sorcerer. But so we've barely eaten. <laughs> the women are there like, oh, but we didn't even... We didn't even get to eat. What did you say? Fortify the oh. palace guard. So I think he thinks that she's leading a trap. Yeah. Which she sort of is. Well, no, not knowing. Unwittingly. Yeah, unwittingly. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Simple <laughs> job for the one guy. Ah. Yeah, at least he didn't knowingly drag the kid in. He needs to get rid of that makeup. Yeah. 
See, there, there we go. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm constantly that one little step ahead of the movie and everything. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to be a complicated uh, plot. No. But I'm still pleased with myself. It's made by simpletons for simpletons. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. Interesting. I think he's a bit wise to it at this point. This is so James Bond bit. Yeah. Almost exactly the same. They have followed the formula. Yeah. It's just not as well done. No. And it doesn't have the amazing one-liners that James Bond does. Yeah, I think he's worked out that she... um, Yeah, she has lost her gift. Ooh. That's rude. She's gained a certain confidence. She has. But surely she can just make anything up anyway. Uh, possibly, unless she he's testing uh, him, uh, testing her. In which pot are my testicles in? She's gonna have snakes. Yeah, snakes in every part apart from one. Ooh, Cuba. Oh, I wouldn't mess around with that. Nope. Imagine if she, like, did have the gift, but she couldn't sense that. That was, like, her one thing she couldn't do. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, I'm a bit screwed here. And they must have tested her before to know that she can do it. Yeah, probably. She's just got to keep her eye. No, she's just going to spin them around. Yeah, I'm guessing. She'll just have to try and keep her eye on the one that doesn't have the snake. I wonder how difficult that is. It's over there. It's I over think we're there. ready for the assault at this point. Come on. Surely they don't have to keep the disguises on now that they're in. No, but it's sexy looking, so they're going to keep it. Oh, fair enough then. This is also a bit James Bondy, you know, in Octopussy, when the ladies come and storm that big house. Do they? Yes. I know my James Bond. Is that Octopussy? Yeah, that is Octopussy. Oh. The circus ladies. Oh, uh, you know what? I do remember when they climb up the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is almost exactly the same. See, the thing I remember about that is the clown. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the In the one. railway. Yeah. Oh, yes. And there are the two brothers who, like, throw knives. Yes. That's the same. Yeah, correct. That was the first Bond I ever saw. Really? Yeah. The first Bond I ever saw was Goldeneye, and that's still my favourite. Goldeneye's a classic. Yeah. And Pierce Brosnan is my favourite James Bond. Oh. Death and Despair. Kill them. Concubines to the rescue. Well, they're not concubines. They're fierce warriors. Yeah, but the concubines of the other village, aren't they? Well, no. They, they had their own tribe. Oh, uh, yeah. Concubine tribe. No, stop calling them concubines. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, in this movie, all the women are basically concubines. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, so she's got two chances to get it right. Yeah, but even if she gets it wrong once. She looks so worried. Like, her face just betrays her. Yeah, I know. Ah, my hand. Careful. This one's... There's nothing in there. She put out a middle finger. (laughs) Yeah. He's like, again... So she tracked one with her eyes, but she couldn't track two. Yeah, that's going to be hard, though. Well, actually, you wouldn't need to. As long as you track one and you know where the other one is, you just work two. That's four. fair. But I, I don't think th- she did, though. I don't think she kept her eyes on it the entire time. Well, she's lost her gift. But she got to <laughs> taste the rocks, so it's all right. Yeah. 
She can die happy. <laughs> She's guessing that. Yeah. Ooh. That's what you said. The face betrays her. Yeah, she's not sad at all. How dare you. Damn. Oh. Very CG. <laughs> Oh. Oh, she uh, gave the way game away a bit there. Pew straight uh, any the swings. Caboodles. Steel against steel. Ooh. Oh nice. And then hopefully her head later. Mm, <laughs> that's very rude of you. Expect more. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Come on, Rock. Oh, nice kick. Oh, sliced. Oh, oh. they just want to get him no, shitless as possible. Of course. It's all just a ploy to get him naked. And she'll be worried because he was shirtless in her vision. <laughs> the rest of the battle feels a bit pointless at this point. Yeah. Because as soon as he gets that one... Yeah, it's all about the one-on-one -on -one fight, really. Oh, this oh, guy. guy. I'm not a fan of this guy. What do you reckon? All. Pathetic death for him? I hope so. I hope he just gets showed up. I hope these concubines just slay him. Stop. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are concubines, just of the They're other tribe. Not. They're not. They're actual warriors. Warrior by day, concubine by night. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, why are they all going for him? Yeah, I know. Oh, that's one head gone. Surely they'd go for the other. Why are they so on the other guy's side? Oh, that's two gone. Oh, this is the classic huh. spinning around on table. Yeah. So that's all his gunpowder, yeah? yeah? <laughs> oh. I love this guy. I have no idea why. Oh, he's dual wielding. He's so lovable, though. What, the bad guy? No, the... the yeah, I know who the, you mean. Uh, <laughs> the joke guy. Even the rock's like, whoa, what is yeah, this? Yeah, he's like, oh, this is a real this fight. Is crazy. I never had to face this at Hell in a Cell. Oh, come on, Cobras don't do that. His nipples are very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's his only weakness. <laughs> what, sweaty nipples? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and receding hairlines. Ha ha ha. Ah. Oh, no, they're getting pushed back. Yeah. They're trying to escape. They're not trying to come in. Yeah, that gives him a chance to sort of slip away with her as prisoner. The witch. <gasps> I like how they went from needing her to be there to oh, I'm gonna kill her now. Yeah. She's quite sexy though. She's really grown on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's beaten up enough red shirts. No, he can red, maybe. No, they're not actually red shirts. They're redheads. Or oh, red scarves. Come on. Oh! Oh! Oh, with some stab. Oh, here we go. Oh no, she's been caught by the bad guy. Where? Yeah, sorry, Rock, you're gonna have to do something to help out, yeah? <laughs> just throw. You might as well just get a chair at this point. <laughs> yeah, st <laughs> steel chair. Oh, go. to the skull. Go full wrestling. He jumps to the fire. Yeah. I'm surprised his hair doesn't get burnt in I'm all just going to throw his sword to him. Of course, classic. Bro helping bro out here. He's, He's like, you're Look at him! <laughs> yes, go! <laughs> Take your sweaty nipples. <laughs> that fire looked very fake. 
Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, head on a rock. Oh, I get it. Head on oh, a yeah, rock. yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, kill, kill, kill. No. Oh, there we go. Oh yes, got pulled off. Uh, like a chump. Yes. He got yes. Oh, there good. we go. He got killed quick and. He really died a weasel's death, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he deserved it. Oh, these guys, she, he's still helping out, that little kid. Yeah, bit by bit. What a hero. What? Ah. Why does he need flaming swords? Yeah, now how does that actually improve his fighting ability? All he did was waste precious seconds there. <laughs> All these waves are swinging about nonsense. Dwayne's nipples must be really sweaty right now. Yeah, especially with the heat off the swords. Must be burning. Although, is it his best when he's nice and oily, really, isn't it? Yeah. You can't really get a good grip on him, though, when he's like that. I mean, he looks good, but... Yeah. I, I think he's a lot good. more muscular now than he was then. Um, I feel like he's taller now. I know that's not right, though. I know. He's just bigger now, isn't he? I don't know. Is he bigger, or are we just... Or is the bald head giving him extra size? I don't know. I do feel like he's bigger now. There's something makes me feel that way. Yeah, I feel like he's taller. Or maybe they just try and shoot him that way. Mm, no, possibly. You know like how they always try and make Tom Cruise look taller? Well, yeah, but he's short, though. <laughs> oh, see, that's a dirty tactic. Ash is in the eyes. Yeah, but this is this is war. There's no, <laughs> there are no rules here. Roar is war. <laughs> Oh, the vision's coming true. Arrow to the back. Oh, nine. No, this is not how it's going to end. Or is she going to intervene? Yes, obviously. Or is she going to take the arrow for him? No. Well, he's seen it coming. Oh, still got the arrow to the back. Nine. Nine. This can't be the end. No, but he'll survive there. That's what I'm saying. It's just one arrow to the back. He'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, God. He still could have lit it. Come on, people. Look at their marching. is so bad. <laughs> I know. Oh, tribal warriors. There we go. Slash. No, <laughs> slash nothing. This guy's going to take on ten of them all together. It's offense he's been doing that for the past half hour, really, isn't True. it? Oh, come on, they should light the um, gunpowder. Who are these guys? I think they're his soldiers, aren't they? What? The uh... the ones marching. She's like, no, you bastard. You killed my lover. hey -ya. Take that. Oh, there's that? a bow. Oh. But the Is he going to can... pull out the arrow from his back and then use that? Maybe. He is, isn't he? Uh, by groaning, he's let him know what's up. He is! I told you! But the other guy does the arrow catching thing. Oh, that's true. So surely he'll just catch the arrow. No. Oh, it's his bow as well, isn't it? It's his special one. What? It's gonna cut. Because remember the steel. guy. The guy had it at the dinner party. Oh, and he couldn't yeah. pull the couldn't bow pull back. It back. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Now? Huh? Oh, what a hero! Oh, what a hero! He came through. So he's pulled it back like extra far. Catch this fool. Oh. It was too fast for him. Nice. Yeah, that's how fire works. So basically, the joke sidekick guy saved the day. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, love it. All the right people came out on top. And he even got away from the fire. Amazing. Oh, and... 
destroyed the statue. Very, very symbolic. That was very uh, Iraq 2002. One of the invasion happened. They pulled down his statue, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Was that 2003? I don't know. When, that when, might have uh, been after this movie. Are you telling me that that invasion was inspired by this film? <laughs> Let's not go that far. Let's maybe not push it that far. He's like, well done. Oh, everyone's a hero. Happy ending in He's front of a green screen. Loving his sweaty nipples. And they're like, yes, we shall bow down to you. Yep. Those nipples. T- nipples that is those such a green go. screen. That's <laughs> so bad. Sweaty pecs. You're really focusing on the sweat at this point, aren't you? <laughs> Once you see it, hit that and the hairline is hard to unsee. There ah. we go. The king. The conquering bronze are like, we're freed. We don't even have a name for the sorcerer. What do we call her? Sexy sorcerer? Yeah, just... I, I'm sort of tempted to just call her sorceress. Mm. Did they give her a name at any point? I don't know. We're really bad at remembering characters' names. The names are so unimportant, yeah, though. Yeah, that is true. There you go. See? All's well that ends well. She's always got perfect hair. And he suddenly has a sling. Just to show that he's been in battle. No. Oh, they're all friends and buddies now. There we go. The best of friends. Mm. Ah, wonderful bromance. Love it. He's got bigger arms than The Rock. Yeah, I think he is bigger than The Rock. Yeah. He's huge. Well, how tall is he? Couldn't tell you, but he's massive. Basically, she's wearing a bikini. Well, it's warm weather. Mm-hmm. Oh. So oh. she um never lost her powers. She didn't lose her powers? No, that's what she was saying there. They make up the losing the power thing to stop the kings from having their way with them. Ah. Oh. Well, that makes. So, to be fair, that makes sense. That ruins the tension of the whole snake scene. Well, yeah, now it does. And why was she acting all afraid? She could have just confidently gone, boop, done. Couldn't she? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Inconsistency. Well, all right. So that was the Scorpion King. I think we enjoyed that. To be fair, I think we might have too. Yeah. Uh, what you know? What I'm looking forward to the rating system. What are we going to go with this time? Oh, that is a very interesting... Oh, executive producer Vince McMahon. Who's that? He's the head of WWE. Oh, come on! <laughs> so when we said he was made by wrestling fans, we were, we were right. Yeah. <laughs> well, not even a fan. It's the guy who pretty much owns wrestling. Uh, it's interesting you know that. Oh, I know that. I used to watch a wrestling back in the day, way back when. The only thing I, I got into with wrestling was the PlayStation game. Oh, Smackdown to, versus Raw. I used to always pick a. Uh, oh, it's been it hell. Okay, so I think that was enjoyable. Yes, it's one of those films that you can watch every few years and enjoy it. A nice way to pass the time. Yes, yes, definitely. It's been a while since I said that, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I ever noticed how good looking the sorcerer was until today. Mm, yes, she did very well. She well done to her. Yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations Your on a fabulous. Were great. <laughs> Congratulations on a fabulous figure. <laughs> All right, I guess we should go to the rating system here. Yes, what are we going to go for? I'm going to give it 21. Oh, what? 21 sexy concubines <laughs> out of 39. I think that's fair. Uh, I'd go with 25 sexy compromises out of okay. 39. Very nice. Because I think it's I think it's more than just average. I think it's above average because of the I gave it, it just above average. Yeah, but I, I it needs to be I'd more. watch it again in like 10, 15 years. That's what I'm saying. Every every few years, every 5 to 10 years is a good watch just to pass the time. It's like it's, You would watch it again. 
Yeah. It's not like it's one I would never watch again. And, you know, he has a special place in all of Dwayne Johnson's fans' hearts. <laughs> For being his first proper starring role in yeah. a movie. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, overall, happy days. Yeah. I think that went quite well. Right. Another another successful movie commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of it. And um, if you have any other suggestions for other movies which have yep. many concubines in it, we would love to hear from you. <laughs> they don't have to have concubines, but... Yeah, preferred. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. But feel free to suggest anything. Or oily nipples. We really like those as well. Sweaty yeah, nipples. Yeah, you got, you got far too into that. <laughs> All right. Join us again next time. See you later. Bye.